So uh, more underfloor heating problems here. So um, I've just done the rectification, but it's the usual thing, no hydraulic separation on underfloor heating and the underfloor heating was nicking all the flow. Um, again, boilers are being set to lower temperatures, operated with modulating controls and um, underfloor doesn't like it. So what we did was created a primary secondary circuit. So here we have our primary circuit coming around, going back to the boiler and a few bits of uh, little features here. Isolation valve there, filling loop there. If you close this valve and open the dump valve at the bottom, you can flush the boiler through, which is very handy for moving air from the heat exchanger and dirt from the boiler. This boiler was very dirty and uh, I gave it a quick rinse out earlier. So coming off the flow, uh, first flow going to the pump that feeds towel rails and radiators. And, uh, that's gone off up on there, so that's new. This has been added in today. And uh, then it goes around my loop as it comes back up the other side. We conveniently allowed me to set the pipes off quite neatly here. I've got my flow to my underfloor and my return from the underfloor. So obviously this is going this is the return from the radiator circuit, so it's quite cool. It's probably around about 40. Uh, got 65 on there. I'm guessing about 40 there. I'm not, not too convinced the 65 is accurate, but um, anyway, uh, could have a bit of back cycling, back circulation actually. So it may be. Yeah, I have, yeah. Okay, so what's going on here? The flow rate through my radiator circuit is actually higher than the flow rate through my boiler. Um, interestingly, I haven't actually measured this and put any probes on it. I haven't just fired it up. Thought I'd make the video. So I've got a higher flow here than through my system. So I've actually got a little bit of reverse circulation going on here. And yeah, so the bulk of the water will be coming back down here and is going off up to my underfloor heating here on that circuit and back on this one. So that was it. So it's quite different this one arrived. I should have taken some pictures before I did it. But, uh, quite pleased with that. It's the first time I've done um, like a full secondary, um, primary secondary um, pipe up. And, uh, I must say it's working very, very nicely. I'm not sure about this pump. I'm not sure if that's meant to be flashing. I'll have to check the instructions. I want that on uh, constant pressure or proportional pressure. And, uh, I'll have a look at that. I've got the insulation to do. And, uh, originally, the two returns from the underfloor and the towel rails and radiators were all married into one here and came down. So I've run all that today. Got one of those magic new sets of benders. Um, I think it's, is it Monument? I can't remember who the main factory is, but brilliant, brilliant. Really, really recommend them. I'll do a video on my new benders at some stage, but um, really finding bending so much easier with those. I'm not the world's best at pipe work, but you know, it, this isn't bad, um, and uh, you can see I've been able to deliver everything with the benders almost here uh, with very little effort. So, yeah, enjoyed this job. Customers happy, all up and running, and uh, now they can have radiators and underfloor on at the same time. Hope that helped.